Hi, this is Olivia, and I'm going to go over my spreadsheet of my all-time favorite Harry Potter fanfics. And you can see this whole spreadsheet at the link below in the description box. I do have it available and shareable for you to look at. There are 50 different stories here that are basically my all-time favorites. They're all pretty much romance as a category, but... I'll just do a little walkthrough here. So I have the title, the author, the link to where you can read it. Um, most often it's the archive of our own link, but if it's not on archive of our own and I found it on fanfiction.net, that's the link that's there. The major pairing, there might be some side pairings, but these are kind of the main ones. General categories and the general plot, maybe like a couple sentences, so you have an idea of what it is. So the default sorting is by author last name, and so we have quite a few different pairings here, Severus Hermione, we have this time travel one, which is the Pride of Time, Aurelian, which is Draco Hermione with the kid who has time traveled. Uh, a bunch from Colorbrina, Green Girl, Lady of the Lake, Pygmalion. We have, there's one, Victor, Hermione. They're pretty much all paired with Hermione, but that's kind of how it goes. Um, the Binding, this one's kind of a newer one. And so we have a lot of In Dreams. I think this one's a one-shot. So I have a few multi-chapters, one-shots. This one, Kronos Historia, is time travel to the Founders' Age of Hogwarts. So that's super exciting. And we have, I think, Still Frame is the Soulmates one, which is super nice. Uh, everyone talks about Draco Malfoy and the mortifying ordeal of being in love. Uh, I highly recommend that one. That one's definitely rom-com gold. Soulless Marriage, which is Severus Hermione, Time Travel, and they adopt Tom Riddle. This one is epic. It's really, really long, so you kind of have to set aside some time to read it. Uh, more Severus Hermione, When a Lioness Fights. Oh, one time I shared this spreadsheet, and then someone was like, what about When a Lioness Fights? And I was like, oh yeah, I love that one too. Um, more Severus Hermione. I don't even know which one my, is my favorite ship. Severus or Draco, but they're all fun. Madame Umbridge, Home for Wayward Girls. That was This one is like Victorian Gothic. So if you've read historical romance or Gothic romance, this one really fits that. Loves Bitka, Eight, who is Julie Soto. I'm so excited for her upcoming debut novel in 2023. Trust and Lies is one of my favorite six-year seventh year retellings. It's Draco Hermione, but it has an amazing Hermione Theo not friendship. Uh, I probably should have written a description here, but I did not. More Severus Hermione. These ones are fun. From First Sight is a fun little asynchronous or like a non-chronological retelling of uh, Soulmates. Sin Advice is a clever time travel one. And I probably talked about this one in my Severus Hermione recommendations video. Rewriting Destiny. Don't let the G rating fool you on Rewriting Destiny. It's still a really good story. Wait and Hope. There's a prequel that goes with Wait and Hope called Be Beginning and End. And the only reason why it's not on the spreadsheet is that I have not read it yet. And I know it's going to be like high angst because of what happens in Wait and Hope. Fate Set Right is my most favorite Severus Hermione time travel fic. This one, Hot for Teacher, is hilarious. You will laugh. I was, I may have been reading this during a meeting at work that I was not supposed to be reading. And I had to be very careful not to laugh out loud. More Severus Hermione. We have some Tom Riddle Hermione. The Girl in, in the Tower is really interesting. Olive e. Blake. It's it's just a whole bunch of Olive e. Blake. Because before she was famous for the Atlas Six, she was writing Germione fan fiction, and it's amazing. I think I'll do a video about just Olive e. Blake's stories. 
Hinge of Fate was probably the first Severus Hermione story that I've ever read, and I read it, like, almost 20 years ago. It was published in, like, the early 2000s. Darling Death Eater is a very cute little one-shot. We have more... Oh, Make It Real is a one-shot. I feel like I should have noted those so that you could just read them real quick. Manacled. Watch the content warnings on that one. Soul Scars is my favorite soulmate story. I like that it's multiple characters involved and every chapter is a different pairing. Dead of Time is epic. It's more serious Hermione, Remus Hermione. I very rarely read serious Hermione ones. Most of my favorites are either Severus or Draco, but yeah. Oh, also Turtle Wexler, great author. I need to read another one of the stories from Turtle Wexler. I think it's a soulmate story, so once I read that, it'll probably make this list. So this spreadsheet is often updated whenever I get around to reading more fan fiction. Uh, I kind of waver back and forth between reading romance novels and fan fictions, so I'm not reading as much fanfic as I had before, but still, this is the spreadsheet. You can access it with the link below in the description box. Hopefully this little walkthrough was useful for you. Let me know if you want any more reviews or if you have any recommendations for what your favorite fan fiction is. Um, like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos, and thanks for watching!